this team is a hitting team. If it's hitting, it's winning. If it's not hitting, it's not winning. And um, I think the focus should, should almost be more on uh, what they're doing at the plate than what's happening on the mound. Um, let's, I, I think Vladimir Guerrero is the elephant in the room. I mean, I don't know why people just don't want to talk more about what he's not doing. Maybe it's because if you look at their stats, he's the team leader in OPS, slugging percentage, home runs, obviously, second in runs, second in hits. Um, so what? Uh, you know, he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. If you think back to last year when everybody was chanting MVP and if he's not doing that, uh, then I don't know how far they can go. They can ride Bo Bichette for a while, which they've done. Alejandro Kirk, um, uh, Matt Chapman a bit, uh, Springer sometimes. And that's the same with every team. Nobody has nine guys hitting all at once, but um, I think the focus has to be on Guerrero in terms of, of what the Jays are capable of doing this season. And generally speaking, how are they hitting? Because they're going to go as far as their bats take them. I don't care how, how strong the pitching is, and it's been good. But it's not enough to, to get them where they want to go. They have to be hitting. See, I, I, dis I disagree with your approach, Dave. And it's based on September. I think they started September nine and three. And um, I, I don't know after the Tampa series exactly what the number is now. Uh, in that time, Guerrero's hitting about 200. Springer's hitting about 200. Chapman's hitting about 200. None of them had a home run before uh, Friday mm -hmm. uh, in the month. So we're talking, this has been a one man offense for the entire month and they're yes. sitting at nine and three. So when you get to the playoffs, quite often uh, hitting becomes the least important of the, of the thing, it, you know, it's pitching, it's bullpen, it's offense. Uh, and obviously defense be probably before offense, you know, you're not seeing a lot of six, five playoff games. You're not seeing a lot of seven, six playoff games. You know, th those kind of things aren't happening all that often. So, yeah, I, I think they have all kinds of options of guys who should be better. And I, I'll put, I think Laddie's whole season is a, is, is it, you know, he should have been better than he is all year long, even though he leads the team in, in almost every category. He should have been leading by as much as he was leading last year or close to that. Um, but they need, they need offense throughout the lineup. They can't have one guy, which is what September has been. And yet with one guy, they've been, they, were, they were nine and three to start the month. Well, I'll, since we're disagreeing, Steve, <laughs> it, if, if, uh, October is the same as September and all those batting averages are where they, where they have been and all the pitching has been as good as you say it has been. Um, they're not beating anybody. They got to hit better. I'm sorry. Well, you, you say they have to get better offensively. Yes. Yeah. Well, and let's face it, it, it. It's, it's been Bichette in the bottom of the order that have been the difference, right? Well, that's, I, that's the only thing that's, that's carried them offensively at this point. I wrote a column as of the other, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday, I wrote a column on Bichette and he had seven homers in September. The rest of the batting order did not have, did not have that. Um, like he, it's, it's been all him. Here's the yeah. best, here's the best stat I've, uh, uh, a Blue Jays stat I've seen in a long time. And I'm going to assume uh, that it's accurate. Um, I don't have the time to, <laughs> to uh, research it and fact check it uh, completely. But um, beyond the sixth inning, the number of times that Vladimir Guerrero has had a hit to tie the game or change the lead this season, zero. I mean, that's fascinating if it's true. Oh. And, and you know, to watch him, you know, how many inconsequential singles has he had to get a hit streak to 19 or 20, whatever. And I mean, big deal. Uh, you know, speaking of clutch, I mean, that's been Bichette, but where's Guerrero when the game is on the line? And that stat would suggest he is nowhere. And Bichette's been, it's basically the last six weeks, really. Before yeah. that, he was, he was having a, a bad year, according to 
to, to people. So, you know, he, he got hot, hot. And now all of a sudden his stats are right there with the best of his position in all of baseball. You know, he's, he's right there in RBIs. He's right there in homers. He's right there in, in, in run scored and, and all the, you know, and all the important fancy numbers. Um, but you, you're right. Vladdy should be what David Ortiz was for the Red Sox or whomever, whatever lineup, whatever lineup you want to pick, what, what judge will be for the Yankees. What, what Vladdy was last year, Steve. Yeah. Oh, see, last year was the season for the ages. What I wondered coming into this year is what would he do? I thought he would be close to what he did, but it's almost impossible to equal what he did. But he's nowhere close. Like he's he's going to be down 20-some home runs over, over last year. In a well, year. Hey, just the fact, Steve, that he's – 29 home runs behind Aaron judge. Yeah. We talk about Aaron judge having such a great year and it is, it's, it's a, it's, it's one for, well, it's his story really. Yeah. It, it, it could be, it could be um, when it's finished, but the fact that, and I did, I, I expected Guerrero to be in a home run race or at least close in a home run race with judge. Didn't, didn't, didn't the three of you, uh, I, yeah, well, I, I, I'll go back to what I said. I expected Guerrero to be uh, much the same as what uh, as what we saw last season, and he hasn't been uh, he's, it hasn't been anything close. I mean, the, the home run swing has disappeared. Uh, the two hopper to the shortstop uh, to begin a, a double play uh, is almost a constant um, in, in every game, and the best Vladdy can do is beat it out and prevent the double play and get a fielder's choice and maybe score when somebody uh somebody drives him in 